Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will be showing you how to build slime in Blender 2.9 using Mantaflow. So, let's get into this. So first, get a cube, then scale it upward. This will be your domain, so where the fluid will be controlled by. So then, after you have this cube centered where you want it to be, add another cube. This will be your emitter object. So if you want to use your own object and emit slime out of, I don't know, a car, or something else you have in mind. But now that we have that, let's add the fluid. So to get the fluid, make sure you have the object that you want to emit the fluid out of selected, and then go to the physics tab. In the physics tab, you'll see fluid. Make sure you select fluid, and then select the type as flow. Then under flow type, you can go down where it says smoke to liquid. Then make sure uh, from the flow behavior that it is selected inflow. Inflow is just going to make it so it's continuously coming out of your object that you want the fluid to come out of. Outflow would suck up the fluid if there is any fluid. In ge geometry, we just create a small amount of fluid. But now make sure your second object is selected that you want as your domain. Select fluid, then fluid type as domain. So then make sure your domain type is liquid. This is gonna be what controls your entire simulation. So then for time scales, I made mine 0.5. The reason for this is because I wanted it a little bit slower and this is the speed of your simulation. Then under time steps, I increased it to six. I would probably go higher, unless, but I didn't because my system isn't that powerful and I was recording at the same time. So then under liquid, make sure you go check and make sure that is checked if it's not. But then you can scroll down and check diffusion because that one isn't typically on. And then under diffusion, you can go exponent of one and base of one. That is at least what I did and I found worked pretty well. If you want something else, then feel free to play around a little bit. And then surface tension, I changed to 1.4. This worked pretty well for what I was wanting. And then for uh, make sure you have mesh selected. This will make sure that your object is a mesh and will work. Then uh, now that mesh is selected, you don't really need to change anything under this. You can go down to the very bottom where it says type and where it says replay, make sure you select all. This is just so you can bake it all at the same time. And as you can see, bake is there. So if I select that and let it finish baking, there will then be fluid. So I'll speed ahead and then you can see that. So now that it's finished baking, you can see that it looks okay, other than it's not shaded smooth and that we don't have textures. So let's shade it smooth. And now that it's shaded smooth, let's go into the shading tab to add some textures. So in the shading tab, make sure you have your domain selected because that is what we're gonna be shading that color. So add new, and when you add new, make sure the color, the base color, is the color that you want it to be. So like you saw in the intro, I had multiple colors. For this example, I would just be using green and then go down to clear coat and make sure the clear coat is all the way up to one. This just makes it look a little bit more like slime. And actually this could be your entire slime texture if you didn't want to add anything else. But I'm gonna add a bump to it. So I search for bump, plug it into the normal, then search for a mixed RGB node, and then plug the color into the normal of the bump node. Then get a Veroni texture and plug the color into color one of the mix RGB shader. Then set the scale of the Veroni texture to 34 and add a displacement texture to plug into the Veroni texture. Now all we have left is to add the noise texture and plug it into color two of the mix RGB shader and then scale it to 18.2. At least that's what I found worked good. And don't forget to change the factor of the mix RGB shader to what you find works well. For me, I did 0.72222, so on. And now we have a simple slime and slime texture. But now I want to give a couple tips or improvements that you can do. The improvement I want to mention is the resolution. If you want this to look better, you can change the resolution up to 64 or higher. I did 32 for this tutorial because I couldn't really go up. But if you do change the resolution, be sure to change the exponent from 1 to 0. This one's just kind of cool that you can change the type from inflow to geometry and you get a slime splat. This time I am using the 64 resolution and the 0 exponent, by the way. So let's bake this and I'll show you what I mean. 
So here it is. When I play this back, you'll see that there's a big splat. The final tip, if your animation or simulation isn't working, is to change the thickness from 0 to 0.8 or something even higher if it's still not working. That is the main reason for simulations not working. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, and bye!